CTV's Beth McDonnell is live with more. Beth. Nathan, it's very pleasant in the shade here at Cherry Beach. There are lots of big trees, which makes the heat more comfortable. Others are opting to cool off with a paddle or a dip in the water. It's the kind of heat and humidity sending people of all ages to the water. I like to do a little bit of gymnastics in the water because it's fun and it makes me happy. A heat warning is in effect, and these sweltering temperatures are expected to last over the next two days. For many, taking a dip in the lake or splashing around at the park will be a top activity for relief. We are enjoying here, you know, the Celebration Square is a very nice place to, to have fun with family. After what seemed like a cool and wet spring, some are welcoming the sudden and intense blast of warmth. I thought it would be a nice day to get a tan, you know, just fix my tan line right here. It's great, you know, the weather's been really nice ever since like the past few weeks has been pretty gloomy, so it's nice to have the sun out again. But take care. Environment Canada says while extreme heat affects everyone, young children, pregnant women, people with chronic illnesses, and those working outdoors are at the greatest risk. And if you think it's hot now, southern Ontario will likely see even hotter temperatures this summer. Not quite as warm as, as the dog days of summer, but hey, you'll be able to find your linens and learn how to make mint juleps and get that fan working and, and everything will be, uh, this is kind of a dress rehearsal, I think. The hot and sunny conditions are also expected to cause increasing levels of air pollution, another concern for the vulnerable. During these steamy days, it's advised to drink plenty of water before you feel thirsty and stay in a cool place. Typically, temperatures are a bit cooler by the water, so if you're somebody who really doesn't like the heat, this may be the place to be. Reporting live, I'm Beth McDonnell. Michelle, back to you.